Hello, hello, Numa Numa 282 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Survive. We are on episode 43 now. We're back in the digital world, uh, or the world of the Kamonogami, as they call it. And yeah, we're we're um we're doing it. We're uh, we got we got moves though, and I got to figure out what I want to do. Um, I'm gonna talk to the girls. I always with Saki. I should ask them about what happened the past 10 days. Okay. Hey, Aoi, could you tell me more about what happened before? Did something happen to Miyuki? And speaking of which, where's Haru? Uh, do you remember how Haru fainted during the fight against Gururuman? Yeah, we left him in a corner of the factory for safekeeping. Right, so after things finished up, we grabbed Haru and made it back here somehow. But then when he woke up, Haru was incredibly upset by Miyuki's absence. I can see that. Of course he'd be worried if his sister disappeared. By the next morning, Haru had disappeared too. He did. We think he went to look for Miyuki. His wounds hadn't even mended. Oh no, do you have any idea where he might have gone? I'm afraid not. We looked everywhere for him, but... So Haru's gone too. Yes, we're all quite worried. I hate to think of such a small child going off on his own. Well, yeah, but there's nothing we can do by ourselves, right? To be honest, we've had our hands full just taking care of ourselves. Saki, that's... Well, I guess there's no point in splitting hairs. Like Saki says, it's taken everything just to stay alive. But Aoi kept us all together this whole time. You saved me a bunch, too. No, that's not... Come on, no need to be modest. Aoi here's amazing. What do you mean? You see how the pressure of the situation puts everyone on edge, right? That's why everyone was always at each other's throats. But Aoi... Aoi kept us all together with her magic touch. Magic touch? What's that? Hmm, what do you think I mean? I wonder, maybe she means like a healing touch? Treating everyone's wounds? Or wait, did she awaken some sort of magical power while we were away? I can hardly imagine, but you never know. Did she treat everyone's wounds? That explains why everyone trusts her so much. Oh, well, I guess you have a point there, right? Owie's so, how do I put it? Devoted? Motherly? What? Takuma, you think of me that way? Well, yeah, that part of you is always a big help to the rest of us. Really? Me, motherly? I admit I'm a little flustered. Oh, for sure, that's our mama Owie over here. Just having her around gives everyone some peace of mind. You too, Saki, jeez. Still, that's not the magic touch I was talking about. Wait, really? Cooking. I'm talking about her cooking. She kept our bellies full with her food and our hearts at peace with her words. So that's what you meant. Glad to see, glad to hear how good her food is. Nothing soothes a soul like a good meal. Owie sure, sure knows her way around a stove. It's not like I whipped up anything special. I just made do with what we had. She's been so caring too. Did I tell you? I had planned to go to the hospital after camping. Don't say that, Saki. It's fine, it's fine. A hospital? Is something wrong? Nothing major, but when we came to this world, all my plans for hospitals or surgery went up in smoke. And yet, because of this, I feel like I can do anything I want without holding back. Do you have any idea what that feels like, Takuma? I told all this to Aoi, and she's really sympathized with me ever since. Saki. To Saki, who had to worry about hospitalization and surgery, this treacherous world is a place where she can move freely. If she's been here supporting Aoi, I can see how they've grown so close. Lesbians! Please. I need representation! Some kind of, kind of representation, I guess. I'm not... I'm not a lesbian myself. I lack certain criteria. Kaido's with Miyu again. I should ask them what happened since I saw them last. Ugh, I'd rather talk to Miyu. Takuma, man, to think you'd come back now spouting that stuff. All about Miyuki being the key? You gotta be kidding. Sorry, Takuma. Bro seems kind of irritated for some reason. Okay. Kaido. Figured I'd say what he's doing, but he's in a worse mood than I anticipated. You're just talking nonsense that you can't bear to let her go, right? You really think I'm capable of that? Listen and listen good. Miyuki's finished. Kaput. We gotta take down the boss and fast. Miyuki finished? What are you saying? Exactly what I mean. Just look at her. Even you gotta throw in the towel, right? Are you serious, Kaido? So if I was in her position, you'd do the same to me? No way, I'd never do that to you. I wouldn't let you get that way in the first place. I'll always protect you, you hear me? Always. You get it, don't you? You're weak. That's why I can't leave you on your own. 
and those things out there would eat weaklings like you for breakfast. Even back then, you would have been fine if you'd just stay by my side. Back then, he said something must have happened in their past. Looking at their faces, I'm guessing it was pretty bad. Even so, kind of, kind of was getting way too upset. Maybe I should calm him down. You've got to chill out, Kaido. Back off, I'm talking to Miu here. I don't know what's going on, but you don't have to be so patronizing. Cram it, don't go talking about shit you don't know jack about. What? Thanks for trying, Takuma. I'm sorry, but I can't take it anymore. I'm not something you own, Kaido. I can't stand the idea of being protected by you forever. Don't you see? I'm getting strong enough to stand on my own two feet. Miu? I'm not the weak one here. You are, bro. You're the one depending on me. He slapped me, you? I couldn't stop him in time. See? Just like I said. No, uh, what did I? You only know how to solve things with violence. You just want an excuse to vent your anger and you use me to do it. I'm not the one you I'm not the one stuck on what happened back then. You are. Me, all I want to do is protect you. Protect what's important to me. So you hit her? You're a fucking piece of shit, Kaido. I hope you die. Fuck you. I hate him. Found a new hatred, guys. I hate Kaido. I hate him. I'm over him. What are you going to do, Takuma? I don't think there's anything I can do. Kaido, Miu, I don't know what happened with those two, so I don't know what to say. Can I talk to Miu? Fuck you, Kaido. Ew. Oh, I'm happy our affinity is low. I don't want you ever in anything. You suck. Alright, let's go talk to Agumon. Hey, Takuma. What is it, Agumon? Do you regret coming back here? Nope, not at all. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Really? Really and truly? What's with him all of a sudden? It's not a question I can easily answer. Still, what would Agumon say? Maybe I should give him some encouragement here. Of course. I came back to protect everyone of my own free will. Okay, if that's how you feel, then I believe you. Agumon seems a bit uneasy. Considering how things are, I can't blame him. And I have to do anything I can. Anything at all. Alright, so things are now different. Oh yeah, I wonder where the professor went. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, hey, Siakamon. Have you seen the professor? The professor? So I'm heading towards the shrine. You must be looking at that wall mural. Thanks a bunch, Siakamon. No worries. Hey, you guys in a hurry? If not, think we could chat for a bit? <laughs> yeah, of course. What's up? It's about Miyu. No, about her and her big brother. Their relationship is kind of twisted, don't you think? Especially Kaido's attitude towards Miyu. It's warped by his overprotectiveness. I can see that. There must be some reason behind it. Yeah, still, those two are starting to change little by little. All the pain and fear of this world might have made them aware of the distance between them. That's good, isn't it? Sure, but the start of a change can be the most dangerous part. There's no telling where the relationship will end up when the dust settles from this. That's why I was hoping you'd keep an eye on those two. This is a chance for them to wipe the slate clean, so I'd hate to see it go to waste. Yeah, they should get along as long as they're together. I get what you're saying, it's just, why me? Me and Drachmon are too close to the issue. You're just far enough away. Takuma's good at getting along with everyone, isn't he? Except for Kaido. Really? You think so? Really, really? Please, you gotta do it. Okay, you got it. I'll keep them in my thoughts for whatever that's worth. Awesome! Thanks, Takuma. I mean it. Oh, I really hope people don't... I don't want to lose anybody. Because even if even if Kaido dies, then, you know... Then Miu's going to be all sad and shit. I don't want to do... I don't want that. There's Minoru. How about we have a chat? Minoru, I sense a strange presence coming from the direction of the shrine. You mean like a bad guy vibe? It's too soon to say. Still, best be on your guard. You too, Takuma. Sure, good looking out, Falcomon. No telling what's out there. We should take a look just in case. Was that it? Was that... was that our conversation? Uh, 
Might as well take a look at it, see if I can pick anything up on my own. A voice or someone's consciousness. Okay, the tale of the mural. Forget how long it's been since the emissary of the Shogun told me. You are here by order to complete the murals for the new shrine. The Shogun himself chose you for this task after hearing of your great skill. Give, it, give this your best efforts. I happily accepted the commission, of course, responding with a, Sir, it's an honor. Now here I am, thrilled as I walk up to the entrance of the shrine. Finally, I thought my talents are appreciated. Personally chosen by the Shogun to create the centerpiece for a new shrine. I'm sure to be seen as Hinamoto's chief artist. That, the thought was enough to make me laugh. What's so funny, you stupid painter? Have you no respect for this shrine? Who was this kid? Probably some, just some brat. Oh, if it isn't the head of the Shogun's personal guard, I'm honored. Very funny. You're the rising star. I heard the Shogun personally chose you for something. That's right. I'll be decorating the walls of a new shrine that's going to be built here with my masterful murals. Mark my words. These works will be spoken of for generations, like the new reliquary hall at Ki Kiriyamatai. Kiriya Kiriyamatai. Matei. Kiriyamatei. Whatever. I was the, it was the picture of enthusiasm as I th said this, but the boy didn't seem impressed. You mean that hall covered in gold leaf? You think it'll be spoken of for generations? If you ask me, something more subdued would. Hey, got any ideas for the subjects of these murals? For all that I'd accepted this commission, and gotten so carried away, I still had no idea what to paint. Thoroughly self-absorbed, I see. As for subjects, are you familiar with the local Kimonogami faith? Nope. What's a Kimonogami? They say people once performed a ritual here that would involve sending sacrifices to another world. Then powerful gods appeared from that other world. They called them the Kimonogami, and some people still worship them. Pretty typical local faith. Hmm, Kimonogami. I like the sound of that. Tell me more about these local gods, or point me to someone who can. What a way to ask for help. Anyway, you should talk to the Shrine Maiden. Her job is to pass on the history of this place, so she knows more than anyone. Great, thanks. So I went to meet with the Shrine Maiden. She heard me out with composure, then said, So you would learn more about the Kimoni Kimonogami faith. Yeah, I got the gist earlier, but I was hoping you could tell me something more striking. <laughs> you are the very definition of rudeness. How amusing. The story she told was long and rambling, but the events were fascinating. It was about a boy's sacrifice and his older sister. Long ago, when the world was in chaos, a group of children were sent to another world to save this one. There, in the world of the gods, they gained the power of the Kimonogami and brought peace to humanity or something. Shrine Maiden spoke of this as a great achievement, but it sounded like pointless human sacrifice to me. What's worse, one of those children was a boy sacrificed by his own sister. Did the boy hate her for what she did? What was the girl thinking? Anyway, after hearing the story, I got to work. I threw myself into painting the murals, my head full of what I'd heard from the Shrine Maiden and others. I lost track of time completely, working until I got tired and decided to go out for a break. I'd been in a dim light of the shrine for so long the sunlight stung my eyes. Then, as my eyes adjusted, I grew completely astonished. However long I'd been in that shrine, I still remembered what it looked like outside. What is this? Where am I? I cried, staring out at an entirely different world. Oh! Perfect alignment slab. All right. Well, look at that. Uh, is there anybody I can digivolve? You, right? Yeah. Mega Seedramon. Which I hate because Mega Seedramon is ultimate level. I hate it. Then that's Metal Seedramon. Hmm. No. Bolt Bautamon. I forgot about Bolt Bautamon. He's a cool villain. I really. I'd like to see him more. Let's see, who else can I digivolve? You. Ugh. I don't know why I don't like Gilamon that much. And I really, I don't like Borg Ralamon, but I do like Galamon, so. 
Though isn't he Dukemon? In one of the dubs? I don't know. Oh, who knows anymore? All right, so we did that. Oh, that changed. Let's go talk to let's go talk to Drachmon. Now then, what to do? Oh, it's just you, Drachmon. I gotta I got something I gotta ask you, Takuma. Why'd you come back to this world anyhow? Huh? What do you mean? To protect you all. I want to protect everyone, not just my friends. This whole world and mine too. Is that right? I don't know what voice I'm doing for Drachmon. I keep changing it. Um, is it wrong? Was that a weird thing to say? Nah, I'm just thinking there's something different about you, man. Sure, Kaido and I couldn't be any more different in the personality department. You got that right. Well, don't sweat it all, right? What was that about? Okay. The professor's over there. Oh, you're right. Hey, professor. Oh, Takuma. Agumon. Apologies, were you searching for me, perhaps? Not exactly. I didn't see you, so I just ended up looking. The murals. Did you get to look into them? Indeed, I've done extensive research on the first level here and the second one below. I only just found the third level the other day. There's a mural there, a mural there too. Wow, does that mean you figured something out? Hmm, I wonder. I don't know if this will help the present situation, but... Would you tell me about your findings? Now then, where should I start? Start with the first level. This depicts humans and a maiden praying to the Komodo Gami. Humans and Komodo Gami coexisted, apparently, if you believe this mural. The maiden is of particular note here. She is depicted with much more detail than the rest. Traditionally, they serve as intermediaries. She may have been one for the Komonogami, a maiden acting as an inter intermediary between Komonogami and humans. As for this mural, what do you see here, my boy? Um, vicious monsters on a rampage? Hmm, I'll give you half credit. Look closer. You can see houses and humans. You're right, it's almost like they're running away from the monsters. Yes, I view it the same way. Perhaps there are monsters that ran rampant in our world. I think the monsters that appear in legends around our world are based on Kamonogami. Are you serious? Well, that hypothesis relies on this mural as supporting evidence, but it's plausible. Want to look at anything else? Let's check out second level. The two areas are demarcated, with humans and monsters standing on respective sides. Oh! Okay. This mural could delineate the two worlds, our world and the one we're in right now. Okay, so the humans in Komonogami each live in their own world. It's not just about different worlds. What's that in the middle, connecting the two? Connecting the two... Could this be a gate? Most likely. Piedmon opened this gate to lead an attack on our world, I'd say. A gate. Does that mean there were others like Miyuki who could connect the world? Perhaps people or a technique passed down. At any rate, the method has been lost. Look at this. Don't you think something incredibly important is depicted here? Humans and monsters are getting sucked into the gate. Indeed. Some were flung between the worlds due to some unknown malfunction in the gates. Those who disappeared simply crossed over to the adjoining world. You mean like we did? Indeed. No doubt, no doubt some of the disappearances occurred when the gate malfunctioned. So then what caused the gate to open in the first place? Who knows? Might be some simple accident or someone like Biyuki controlling the gate. I cannot say at this juncture. Want to look at anything else? He's so excited to show me these things. Let's go to the third level, Professor. Can I just call you Haru? We know you're Haru. Or Aki? I've barely started my investigation into this level. I don't know much about the contents of this mural either. 
Analyzing the top part there, the spiral seems to depict some kind of disturbance. You mean the humans and the monsters, right? They're all freaking out. Yes, many are, of them are upset due to some incredible power. It's all I can tell from observation alone. Each of the murals seem connected, but the timeline is hard to pin down, and... Um, Earth to Professor? Oh, pardon me. Adrift in the ocean of my own thoughts again. Come, onto the next mural. Or, so I would like to say, but this mural is simply replete with mysteries. Let's see. Humans are suffering on the bottom, and the top are Kamonogami. Those are the, um, the sovereigns, right? If by Digimon lore is correct. I see by Human. Shung Ling. I can't remember the names. That's the t turtle tree guy. So what do the sovereigns have to do with this? Okay. Okay, we're getting there. Hmm, these Kamonogami share aspects of the four godlike beings in ancient legends. The composition bothers me. Traditionally, heaven would be on top, hell on bottom. Goodness, I'm truly at a loss. The most I could offer is slipshod conjecture. I will say something about this, like, Digimon has always had such a firm, like, placement in digital. Like, the aspect of the digital being so, like, apparent. They were viruses that grew, you know, uh, they are AI that went rogue. Like, every story has always had that kind of core system. Yet, in this version of Digimon, it's so much more on the mystical and spiritual side. And I think that's so cool. Like, that is, I don't know, to me, that's just such a unique take for Digimon. We've never gone, really, not that I can think of. Well, I need to, I need to watch Frontier. That's like the one I haven't watched yet, but I just think it's wild. Well, now, I believe that's as far as I can explain things for now. <sighs> Thank you very much. I learned a lot. Well, I doubt much of what you learned will help increase our chances for survival. Um, not really. I wanted to ask the professor how the apartment complex is related to Miyuki. Professor, about Miyuki. Huh. Would you look at the time? We have to get back to the school building. I know you have questions, but the answers would be paltry at best. You should stick to knowledge that will assist in achieving our current goal. What makes you say that? Miyuki is our... She is the goal. Oh, it's just a text. There's another garbled one. A text? I thought we didn't get any reception here. Oh, another garbled text. Wait, I can read a little now. Only bits and pieces, but still... Everyone's waiting, aren't they? Oh, you're right. We'd better go. Aye, aye. So many cords. My cable management's great on the back side of my desk, but on the front side? Couldn't be me. The professor's intriguing words and now this garbled text. Something big might be going down here, but man, I honestly can't tell what. I'm going to replay this game so many freaking times. All of you must have been desperate out there, out here, huh? To hold out and survive in a world like this? I have to admit I'm impressed. I wonder if I could have held on this long myself. Well, no point in worrying about it. Best focus on the task at hand. Yo, Takuma! Takuma! Hey, Minoru. You talked with everyone, right? How'd it go? I learned how awful these past ten days have been for everyone. The fog's been getting thicker, and the enemies won't let up on their attacks. And then there's Miyuki. Miyuki? Oh, uh, I mean... Is it really that hard to talk about what's going on with her? I want to ask him about it somehow, but... Everyone's been pretty evasive. What's going on? Why don't they want to talk about Miyuki? Is she here? It's just, they don't want to talk about it. We've been friends for so long, so... So? So what? You're right, Takuma. I gotta tell you what's going on, don't I? Don't you think the fog's getting thicker again? You're right. Oh man, it's coming this way. What's that sound? Came from the cafeteria. We gotta warn Aoi and the girls that bad guys are coming. Let's roll. Let's roll! Everyone get over here, quick! Takuma, Takuma, you guys are late. Sorry. What happened? I'm afraid I can't keep that promise any longer. I told you I'd talk about Miyuki later, didn't I? But the truth is, she's over there. Oh! 
What are those? What? Miyuki? Don't get any closer to Kuma. Miyuki is leading the enemy? Oh, pitiful offerings. Life and death, creation itself, all bend to my will. Your fates are already sealed. What the heck are you saying? What happened to you, Miyuki? Miyuki is channeling the master. Maybe it's better to say she's possessed? The master, you don't mean... No way. It's me, Takuma. Don't you recognize me, Miyuki? Answer me, please, Miyuki. This may come as a shock, Takuma, but we've had to face this reality for a few days now. Go on. Howl. What are those things? Oh no, here they come. Let's hold them off. Okay, so Miyuki's possessed. I wasn't really sure what was going on, if I'm being real. That was a surprise. Okay, so let's, uh, we get four members. We're going to do our core. Wait, where are, uh, where's Kaido and Miu? What is our, what's our win conditions? I'm assuming it's Annihilate All. Does it tell me? Let's go. We'll start picking off these guys one by one. No. Damn, these guys are a little bit stronger. Let's go ahead and just get her evolved as well. I forgot to evolve Labramon. We're fine. Right, well, we're going to have her start heading towards that side. What are these things? Kenzoku. I'm going to call it Kenzoku-mon. <laughs> There's a lot. Do I have to defeat all of these guys? Basic attack should kill it. I thought it missed. I was going to be mad. Hell yes. Damn. Must have had a typing advantage here. That is one thing, no matter how much I get into Digimon and love it, never understand the typing system. Let's evolve. Nice. Nice. Somebody okay. else, start your moves. Okay. 
All right. What is the Mad Dog Fire? It has zero range. Gotcha. No! Ew, I don't like that. Even like a little bit. No. What does... Can Spiral Flower reach? Yes! So they full on confused my character, er, uh, Roman. Jesus. You know, she's getting beat up. I'm going to let her have the winning attack. She's earned it. They're getting her ass beat up by her friend. We've taken out the followers. All that's left is Miyuki, but can we really hurt Miyuki? Shit! Strange. How did they become so formidable with the addition of a single sacrifice? Yet I tire of this resistance. The one who brought this renewed hope must be crushed. Here she comes, but I... What are you doing, Takuma? You're history if you keep this up. But it's Miyuki. If there's a chance to change her back, I... Fascinating. Yet so typical of an offering. Slave to emotion, incapable of judgment. Okay. It was dark. Well, now, if my limbs cannot outmatch you, I shall crush you between my teeth. Agumon, Takuma, is it really okay to fight? 
Stop it, I beg of you. Professor, please everyone, don't attack Miyuki. How admirable. Seem age truly does bring wisdom. If only you were all so obedient. Don't do it, Miyuki. That's... What are you doing? How dare you? Let go of me. It's me, Miyuki. Don't you recognize me? Insolent fool. The consciousness of this vessel has long vanished. Your appeals fall on deaf ears. You've got to remember, Miyuki. We've always been together, haven't we? It's strange. The sight of you, a lowly beast, stirs something within my heart. All the more reason for me to devour you first. How frail you are. The path to oblivion unfurls before you... I won't allow it. If you want to eat someone, then start with me. I won't let you lay a hand on the child that supported Miyuki all this time. What nonsense are you... Support it. Uh. Miyuki. Uh. Come on, you got this. What the heck? Uh. But come on. Expel, expel the demon. What am I? Yuki, is that you? You're back? This is... Uh. No, she's being swallowed up again. Run, Haru, please, quickly. Why? Why wasn't it me? Ari, I can't, Miyuki. To think a mere girl would have the power to resist me still. It seems I went too far. Perhaps I should retreat for a time. So she can be safe. I was not expecting Miyuki to get possessed. We're... we're safe? That was a close one. Is everyone alright? Sorry, but we have to prepare for the next assault. Can you stand? Here, hold on to me. Get off me. Rude bitch. This is all your fault. If you hadn't shown up, we would have been... My beloved Miyuki. I could have stayed with her forever. Dumbass. Hmm. You get it now, don't you? Miyuki's no good anymore. Shut up! Her consciousness has been taken over by the Master, and they spent all this time enduring attack after attack by Miyuki. After all, they couldn't exactly kill her. She's one of us. And above all, we can't stop the Master without her. We know how you feel, man. There just ain't anything we can do about it now. We'd like to do something to help, but what? I'm sure everyone realizes how important Miyuki is in all of this. Maybe there's a way to bring her back. What if we called her like the Professor did? No, maybe we should let him keep doing it. She'll come back eventually, right? Let's all talk to her, together. I bet that'll bring Miyuki back to her senses. We tried that already, way back when she first showed up. Yes, but, well, that makes sense. I guess they would have tested that out themselves already. There must be. I guess I'll add a little bit of each section. Miyuki had a strong reaction to the professor during the last battle. The professor may be the one, maybe who we need to return her to her senses. Okay, but I'm not sure what I should. Even if we return Miyuki to normal, we have another problem to deal with. Remember what happened at the factory? They'll attack at the slightest opportunity. We survived this time with everyone's help, but if they get serious, how long can we? I'm just going to use all three options at this point. Rathamus. Still, we need Miyuki. You mean her song? Like I said before, if we don't save this world, ours will be in danger too. Then what are we supposed to do? I mean... Ah! What is it, Miyu? Are you hungry? No, Gigi Mon. That old fart's a walking encyclopedia about this world. He must know something. Is the path to the amusement park still open? Can't say for sure. Our situation will not improve the way things are right now. We all said that we'd head somewhere else if nothing changed. Gotta stick to the plan. Everyone seems to agree. They've really grown a lot in the days I was gone. What do you think we should do, Takuma? Oh, me? We need a unanimous decision here, so please, tell me what you think. That's right. We won't make any progress just mulling this over by ourselves. So let's head to the amusement park. I'm gonna end it there. That's a great place to end it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe, like, and or comment. Also feel free to check out my TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, which are all in the description below. Beneath that, you will find a link invite to the Discord channel, so feel free to hop on in and join the community. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! To Miyuki Gambea. Now we're gonna get her back. I believe in this. Somewhat, kind of. <laughs>